This is it, the new PS5 Digital Edition. It comes in this black box and, you know, it has all of the usual marketing information all on the outside. But we know what you really want to do is have a look inside. So let's dive in. So when you open the lid, you're presented with all of the things that you need to use your PlayStation. So firstly, you've got the new DualSense controller. It's really great. It has this really nice tactile feel to it. Um, I think this will be really fun. You've got the power cable, of course, and all of the literature that nobody is ever going to read. And then you've got the stand, and trust me, you will need this. Whether you use the PlayStation vertically or lie it flat, you're going to need that stand. There's also the HDMI cable, which is an HDMI 2.1. Underneath uh, all of those accessories is, of course, the main event, the PlayStation 5 Digital Edition. It's kind of heavy, it's quite large, and it's kind of hard to hang on to, so you might need to uh, turn the box on its side so you can get it out. And underneath all of this obsessive packaging, and trust me, there's way too much of this uh, of this packaging wrap around uh, the PlayStation. Sony could probably use a little bit less, uh, but get rid of all of that and you'll have your PS5. I kind of like the design with this white matte front and it's got this sort of curve to the front plate there. It is quite nice, uh, but you know, if you look around the edges, you'll see it's quite reflective, so that will attract a lot of fingerprints. There's all the usual ports that you would expect on, on your PlayStation, and there's also a USB and USB-C on the front, so you can charge your controller. And of course, that stand. Now, you can put the PlayStation up vertically without it, but I strongly recommend that you use the stand. It will give it a lot more stability. Just give it a twist and you'll uh, find the screw that you need to attach it uh, when it's in the vertical position. If it's going horizontal, uh, then it just clips on. Um, it's really easy and it just makes the PS5 work. I'm really excited to get the PS5 set up and give it a try. I think it looks really great and that's everything that's in the box for the PlayStation 5 Digital Edition. If you'd like to see more content on this channel then make sure you hit the thumbs up and subscribe.